Health Check is brought to you locally by Island Cancer Center. The dream is to continue to serve my island community. So um, doing that through Scoop Speech with providing resources, free consultations, free screenings, and then of course, teletherapy services. Meet speech language pathologist Tiana Kitagua, the 2010 Academy of Our Lady of Guam graduate currently resides in Atlanta, Georgia, where she has her own private practice, Scoop Speech. The month of May being uh, an awareness month uh, shines a light on speech language and hearing professionals, specifically audiologists and speech language pathologists and what we do. Um, as well as giving parents and caregivers more information about things that they can look for so that they can intervene earlier um, if their child may or may not need some services rather than waiting until a little later when it might not be, um, you know, the most optimal time. What prompted Kitagua to get into such a field? Both my grandparents on my father's side um, suffered from strokes. And so they had a lot of, well, one, the language piece and the communication, and then also um, the cognition, as well as the feeding and the swallowing, and there just weren't many services. But um, but yeah, that's, that's really what got me into it. And then, you know, of course, wanting to get back to the community, um, knowing that there aren't very many resources um, on island for, you know, speech, speech and language therapy from early intervention all the way up until, you know, hospice and geriatric patients. May is National Speech Language Hearing Awareness Month, and many would be surprised to know that speech language disorders are more common than you think. She says some warning signs parents need to look out for, for birth and older, if the child does not smile or interact with others, for a child four to six months does not babble, from seven to nine months makes only a few sounds or gestures, like reaching, from 10 months to two years, does not understand what others say. And for 19 months to two years, if a child says only a few words. And she does offer some tips. The first is to comment more than questions. So what's this? What's color? What's, what is this called? So that's a lot of quizzing and drilling that puts a lot of pressure on the child. Who so give three comments for every one question. So that one, you're giving the child the language that they need to answer that question um, to also build up their confidence um, when they're going to be answering those questions. The next is to honor all communication with the child if they are, you know, emotionally dysregulated or if they're feeling uncomfortable or maybe not really confident with the communication partners around them. We don't want to cause a lot of anxiety. So if that child is using gestures like pointing or reaching or maybe signing if that's something that was taught. Um, honoring that and modeling the spoken language for them at the same time is going to build a lot of confidence and go a long way. As for parents who have concerns or may have questions, trust your gut. Reach out to your pediatrician. If they recommend, uh, you know, for you to just wait and see, I would get a second opinion. Um, and that's what I'm offering with the free screenings. So oftentimes, um, Pediatricians are going off of growth charts and they're going off of developmental milestones, but oftentimes parents can tell if something isn't quite right um, in terms of their child because they are the expert on their child. So early intervention is key. You do not have to wait to you know, start implementing strategies at home or even receiving professional services if that's something that is recommended. Um, it's better to start early than wait later. To learn more or to request a consultation, visit scoopspeech.com and make sure to follow Scoop Speech on Instagram. With this week's Health Check, Jonagan Charfris, KM News. Health Check is brought to you locally by Island Cancer Center.